Nikon is reportedly preparing to launch a new APS-C mirrorless camera in its Z series, widely speculated to be the long-awaited successor to the iconic Nikon D500. This new model, likely named the Nikon Z90, is expected to be the flagship APS-C offering in Nikon's mirrorless lineup, directly competing with Canon's EOS R7. In this article, we'll explore everything we know so far about the Nikon Z90 and assess whether it can meet the high expectations of Nikon enthusiasts. The Nikon Z90 is rumoured to feature a 33 megapixel DX format sensor, offering a significant boost in resolution compared to its predecessors. This higher resolution should produce exceptionally detailed images, making it ideal for both photographers and videographers. With a crop factor of 1.5x, it will be especially appealing to wildlife and sports photographers who need extra reach without the weight of full-frame equipment. Video enthusiasts are likely to appreciate the Z90's rumoured ability to record 4K video at 60 frames per second, achieved through oversampling for sharper details and reduced aliasing. The camera is also expected to support full HD video at 120 or 180 frames per second for ultra-smooth slow-motion playback. These features make the Z90 a solid option for hybrid shooters who need top-tier video performance alongside still photography. One standout feature of the Z90 is expected to be its in-body image stabilization, IBIS, rated up to six stops. This will help photographers and videographers capture stable images and smooth footage, even when shooting handheld or in low light conditions. The inclusion of IBIS in Nikon's APS-C lineup shows the company's commitment to keeping up with industry standards, especially in fast-paced photography like wildlife and sports. The Z90 is rumoured to offer an impressive burst rate of 20 frames per second in RAW format, making it a strong contender for capturing fast-moving action. Early reports suggest the camera could handle up to 1,000 RAW frames in a continuous burst, ensuring smooth performance in high-speed situations. It is also expected to include dual memory card slots, one CF Express Type B slot for high speed storage, and one SD card slot for flexibility. The Z90 is expected to feature a 3.2 inch tilting touchscreen, providing convenience for low angle shooting. Some users may prefer a fully articulating screen for vlogging or dynamic angles, but the tilting design helps keep the camera compact and portable, which is a priority for many photographers. Additionally, the Z90 is rumoured to have weather sealing, protecting it against dust, moisture and temperature fluctuations. This, combined with a high-resolution electronic viewfinder, suggests that the Z90 will be a reliable choice for photographers who need a durable camera for challenging environments. As a direct competitor to Canon's EOS R7, the Z90 enters a highly competitive APS-C mirrorless market. The R7 has received praise for its advanced autofocus system and comprehensive video features. The Z90's oversampled 4K video, 6-stop IBIS and high-resolution sensor suggest it could perform strongly in similar areas. But its ultimate success will depend on how well Nikon can refine its autofocus system. If Nikon can match or surpass Canon's renowned dual pixel autofocus, the Z90 could position itself as a more balanced hybrid camera for both photography and videography. Pricing will be crucial for the Z90's success. A competitive price could make it an attractive option for photographers looking to transition to mirrorless without breaking the bank. The dual card slots, weather sealing, and robust build quality suggest the Z90 will be a camera designed for serious use. Nikon will need to ensure the price reflects the camera's value, offering a compelling alternative to competitors like the Canon EOS R7. The Nikon Z90 is more than just another camera in Nikon's lineup. It's a statement of the company's commitment to staying competitive in the mirrorless market. With its 33 megapixel sensor, strong video capabilities, six-stop IBIS and fast burst shooting, the Z90 is shaping up to be a game-changer for hybrid shooters. 
However, its true potential will depend on real-world performance, especially autofocus and user experience. Whether you're a wildlife photographer, content creator or action shooter, the Z90 promises a lot, but its success will depend on Nikon's execution. Does it meet your expectations? Let us know in the comments.